I'm going to assume that you have actually now installed the kaleidoscope filters into Zona Draw 4 or 5. Now to start with I'm just going to draw a circle shape and you can see that I've used a solid blue fill and uh, no outline. To get rid of that outline I've just gone none from that menu. Now I'm going to select another shape, move it into the middle part there and just change the colour of it so we can see it as a bit different colour and that's made that red. Okay now I'm going to grab all those by just grabbing a square around them. I'm going to go to bitmaps, sorry tools, raster size, select for anti-alias is um, selected, a DPI of 150 and I've got just diffusion there for um, dithering and paper colour is transparent and click OK. OK now I'm going to go to bitmaps, may die and kaleidoscope. Now by moving these petals etc you get different looks. Now if I zoom out you can see I've got a totally different look. Okay, so if I'm satisfied with that I can play with angles, horizontal, vertical, you can do mirror, copy, blend, you get all different looks. Once you're happy with what you've got then you can click OK. And as you can see there Zona Draw has worked on that and that's what we have. Now you may not want that as a square, you may want it as a circle. Zona Draw is primarily a vector drawing program, although you can rasticize to change your vector images into raster images. It's not what the program's about. So if you need to remove areas, you can take it into uh, Microsoft Paint after you've saved it as a raster image. You also have another option. Now I'm just going to zoom in. If for example I just wanted this area around here, then I can select my freehand drawing tool and I can select the areas that I want by just clicking around. Now at the moment I don't have any lines selected so you can't see anything but the dots. So I'm just going to quickly click around this area. And I'm going to go back to where I started and click on that. Now that is now filled with red, but it doesn't have a pencil outline. I'm going to change that so it has an outline. I'm just going to change that to 0.4. So now you see the black outline. I'm going to change the fill to white. Sorry, not to white, to none. Okay, so you can see where I've actually lassoed that area. Now I'm going to zoom back out again. I'm going to now select the square tool and I'm going to make a square around bigger than the area that I want. It's still set so that there isn't any um, colour there, but there is an outline. Now if I select that outline that I did before, hold down my shift key and select the other area, then I would select both those areas. If I select just one area and go to Objects, Operations, Trim Objects and Mark Object as Cutter, that has become a cutter. Now I'm going to select that square, go to Objects, Operations, Trim Objects and I'm going to trim the selected objects. Okay, now if I, whilst that is selected, and I change that fill to solid white, 
you can see where I've actually covered over the area that we don't want. Now again if I go and remove the outline you can see that I now have the part of that kaleidoscope that I want to use. I'll still have a few bits of areas at the back there um, but that's fine for what I want. Now I can then go to File, Export and export that as a kaleidoscope 4 and save it. I'm going to save it as user defined size in pixels and click OK. Now that's saved it to my file. So you can see there that we have the part of the kaleidoscope that we needed. So I'm going to click OK. So that's just that's just a way rather than going into say MS Paint and having to erase all that you can use that technique to get rid of areas that you don't want.